So, to end stuff up, advanced topics would be, uh, we, we have a method out for optimization of, of rotors, how you can lay them out that's based on a blade element momentum thing. But I'm not going to show it here because it's probably a little bit specific, but it's, it can be done and uh, we actually optimized last year's rotor based on, on that. Uh, and you can get, I mean, I, I, I'm fond of tricky things. So if you do that, where you generate power somewhere in the system, well, let's say take the wind car, wind turbine car case, generate power in the, in the air. What happens if you, this is what you generate. If you just drive the car a little bit slower, and instead of the excess power you have, why don't you just store it, have a battery or something? And then what, you, what turns out when you do this, the generated power minus what you store, then this is what you have left, use uh, in the transmission, that should be equal to what you can use on the uh, wheels uh, to propel yourself against the wind. And what it, what it turns out is actually you can produce more than for a stationary turbine, if the losses are not so big on, on the turbine itself. But, but really you can beat bets uh, a lot if you use the same reference, if you use the standstill velocity of the, when you measure the wind. And uh, I thought a little bit about that. In fact, you can make the production go to infinity. And that's kind of tricky. And say, how, how is that possible? Well, the short answer to this is actually you're taking energy out of a much longer stream tube. So, uh, so this is what happens. But it's probably not we will probably not see wind turbines on skates. Uh, I, I did a computation on that, and it, I mean, if you do it really nicely, you can get 8% more than a conventional turbine. I think it would be more than 8% more expensive. Uh, dangerous, and you have to ask about uh, the whole world or something. So it's not good. Advanced topics. This shroud, we had, if you remember the wind car, there was this circular wing around the rotor. And this is not easy. This is uh, some of the tricky stuff. And what it does is it's increasing mass flow. Um, and that's good for you when you have a wind turbine car. Um, but it's a very complex interaction and uh, I, I will give references for two guys who did work on that. Uh, for wind turbine car related stuff. And, but the things they are really not treating as tip effects is really, really tricky and uh, it's almost like a religion, this tip effects here in wind energy. So, so there's a lot of unsolved uh, things if we want to make these cars go fast. And uh, people are always asking, so, okay, so now, now you make this, um, this uh, fun theory and uh, you can do computations on stuff that we will never make money of. Uh, can't you make up, uh, can, can you use it for anything? And I thought about why not putting a wind turbine in a super tank? But actually also there, it's, it's uh, like the, this power out case. Due to the low efficiency of the rest of the system, it's, it's probably not going to be do you any good to, to have extra uh, drag on, on the super tanker. What is a good idea though, is if you have a huge propeller in the air, so when you go along with the wind, instead of pushing the water, you push the air. There you can win a lot, you could win I did some estimates, I, don't, I, I can't remember the numbers, but you could win a lot by doing so. But probably the, the, the cost of the super tank would be even bigger. But, uh, this is one thing I'm mentioning when, when people ask for, well, could it be used for anything in the real world? Yeah, maybe, but people probably already thought about that. So, references for those who think Things like that is fun. Is uh, there's a paper we wrote for EVEC 2009 in Marseille, and uh, I, I can get it on the web if I do search for this uh, title: Theory and Design of Flow Driven Vehicles Using Rotors for Energy Conversion. But uh, I got an email from from other people who can't get it, and, uh, and then I'm risking my neck here. But I'm saying, email me if you can't get it. I hope I will not get drowned. Other interesting material. I am completing a, a, a more, much more um, heavy report with all kinds of different funny results and uh, mind benders in it related to this thing. 
And this is a visual R report, which I now promised to have done within 2009. So uh, now I've set myself a deadline. Uh, the paper I was talking about in the beginning, Andrew Bauer, Faster Than the Wind, is actually pretty interesting. And uh, I was not aware of this when I did that report, the beginning of that report and this thing, uh, but it's actually saying the same thing that I, I am saying. So that's a bummer he, he got there first. Uh, but, but there's additional stuff in this report, uh, the, the design of the rotor. And uh, then Vitold, who is not here today, but a student, uh, I was supervising for his master's degree, did a rotor design for the wind-powered vehicle. That includes the interaction with the shroud, it's uh, tricky stuff. And an even more recent one, Matt Nippers' uh, master's thesis, uh, just completed. So, if you want to go into detail more, these can be found on the web. These, this has to be ordered from your uh, library, and this will be available on the, on the web within 2009. Closing? Ah, the future. Well, there's uh, the wind car race is uh, supposed to be going also on next year, and 100% uh, velocity ratio within reach. I hope so. I hope to get a lot of wind. I hope to get uh, cars that work better. And there's uh, as an added carrot is this uh, Leo Marquis uh, prize uh, that ECN made available for the first wind during car faster than the wind speed in the headwind direction. So this is something I think all the participants of the wind turbine car race really wants badly. There's only one of these. Uh, but in the LS race, if uh, four teams break the 100% uh, ratio, uh, they split the money prize. But this is really the thing we want, I think. At least the, it's the thing I want. So, and um, then I'm focusing a lot on this propeller thing because I think, I think it's really fun. And there's a lot of interest on, on the web. So I would think that would be fun with a propeller car contest also. Uh, I'm trying to kind of lobby for that. And we're actually trying to mod modify ours just at, at the moment to see whether we can do it. And I know there is uh, this, uh, the, uh, this uh, Rick Caldeado is uh, probably doing also right at this moment in, in the States, building out a propeller car. So we'll see if we can succeed in that. So this was, uh, this was it, I think. You can go to the DTU wind car website to check that out. Or uh, the wind energy events that the, 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 the host of the uh, Aeros wind car race. So you can go there and check it out, but uh, I think that was it for now.